you know, if I'm 40 and I see a little 25, 26, 27, and he, he want to play with mommy, you got a whole bunch of forest down there, like, it's covering, like, a nice little mount. A nice little tree stump. <laughs> Hi guys, and welcome to this episode of Candid Combos. First of all, like last week, we want to thank you all for your continued support and love. And we want to send a special thanks to our friend Joey, who gave us some really good feedback. Hi Joey. Hey. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> so continue to send the feedback to us, and we'll continue to make you guys happy. Thank you guys, we really appreciate thank it. Thank you. You guys ready for yes. this? Okay, so our first topic this week How do you feel about dating someone significantly older or younger than you? Okay, well, I'll start. <laughs> um, well, I've dated people my age, like a year or two older or like, you know, my same age. And it never worked. And I feel like maturity plays like a major role in that. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like for me, which I've said before, like I have to date somebody who's older. I'm 22, so I wouldn't mind dating somebody who's 27, 28. Like, mm -hmm. I don't feel like that. I don't know if that's significantly older than me. What about 36, 37, 38? Ooh. Would you do I would kind of look at you like, Bria, for real. Really? <laughs> like, <laughs> you date somebody. I don't know about 36. Older than our oldest brother. Yeah. Like, I'm maybe like 30, 31, but I think that would be like kind of cut off. Pushing it right there. Yeah, that's about yeah. 10 years. Like, okay. Yeah. And that's. Mm -hmm. Well, for one, we all know, and no offense, guys, but guys are just naturally more immature. immature. You yes. take more time to mature, yes. at least to us women, and to date somebody younger, which y'all know I have done, but at that time, I was young, <laughs> a teen teen, so like, I don't know, I think, so I didn't how do you think that like, affected the relationship, him being younger? Um, he played a lot, <laughs> and <laughs> what? He was childish, um, and I think also that. But y'all were young. Yeah, so I mean, I wasn't mature, mature either. It was still like, high school, but okay, yeah. But I mean, I guess childish. Listening to your friends, you know, you the not even peer pressure, but your peers influenced you more at that age. Oh yeah. So, so he's like all with the homeboys. Yeah, play with your friends. Like, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> um, I wouldn't mind dating older. Um, I could never date younger than me like because I feel I like guys that. my age and a year or two older than me are still more immature than I am at yeah. 23 so dating anybody 23 or younger like no like I'm not trying to raise somebody's son I don't no, want a boy no. and it's just, he's still playing Listen, I want a boy not a man and I don't want Wait, a boy you want, who, you want a man not a boy I mean you want a man I don't want a man Yeah. And I don't want a boy who thinks he's a man. Like I want you to know you're a man. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Be a man. Be everything manly. Be, be a man. Be, be a man. man. <laughs> but not. I want to have fun at the same time. Oh, oh like, of course. Like, I think mean, the man was childish, but at an age difference, I'm definitely not dating younger again. Yeah. But I would definitely date up. Like, yeah. And when I'm dating up, it's gonna be your age. It's gonna be your status. It's gonna be. Oh, you gotta be everything. Yeah. Everything is yeah. Oh. yeah. Which I dated somebody who was, I guess, <laughs> he was older. Um, I think there's like maybe a little bit of change. I think he was about 24. So he wasn't that old. Yeah, he's still younger. Yeah, I was younger. younger. I was uh, not even 21 yet. I was 20. 24 for a guy is still like 21. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm well aware. <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, I, I would guess he, he was more mature than like maybe guys in the past who were younger than him, of course. Mm -hmm. but he was still definitely immature. Mm -hmm. Well, like I was saying though, if I'm 40 and I see a little 25, 26, 27, he, he want to play with mommy? <laughs> you yeah. don't want to play with mommy. You don't want to shake mama then. No, 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 no. No, <laughs> no yeah, I'm not taking care of him. him. I'm saying he I'm just 40 and he, yeah, he's like knocking on 30 and I'm 40, 45. Like, and we playing, it's fun, but I couldn't date young. I, there's no way I'm dating young now. Like, mm -hmm. I'm too young to date younger. Like, <laughs> too young to date, yeah. yeah. And then we have kids or kid kids yeah so a kid <laughs> i'm really not trying to bring anybody into my situation 
trying to have them play daddy because I don't And then he's a child you. and your kids are going to think he's not going to take brother. care right. Yeah, yeah. taking care of your kids no. along with your boyfriend. Like, no. No. The younger one's just to have fun with, but you settle down with the older one. Right. There we go. <laughs> that sounds good. To That's me. what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, so y'all ready for number two? Yes. Yeah. Manscaping. Would you date a metrosexual? Okay, the metrosexual is a heterosexual man who likes to upkeep himself. Mm-hmm. Manicures, just clean and pedicures, like maybe go on the shaving street. fresh, yeah, yeah. like keeping everything together. Wardrobe, right. Metrosexual. He's heterosexual though. He just spends yeah. time in a mirror. Basically, don't say like that. I don't know. Don't say like that. I think it depends on how far you're taking. Like, I would date a metrosexual somebody who you know upkeep is important. Yeah, because I hate important. dirty nails. So yeah, like, you keep like, getting your nails done is fine to me. Like, when it comes to like you in the mirror more than me, you take longer to me to get married. Yeah, to get ready. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, no. I don't know. I don't know about yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. I would still want like a man's man. Like, you know, you look good, but every mirror we walk past, you you're know, not like, the one stop. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, even if like you are into like hygiene, not hygiene, because I hope you're into I hygiene. I hope you're into hygiene. But like upkeep, oh. like we have a spa day and we getting facials. Like, I mean, come on, get the little chemical pills, make your face like nice and vibrant. I mean, I'm cool with all of that. We're going to the spa together. Don't be yeah. having a spa day. Saying, I think if it's different, you go with your Yeah, girl, yeah, yeah. Don't have a spa day set up every, every month. month. <laughs> no, no, no. 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 No, but yeah, upkeep is fine. Manscaping, just <laughs> cleaning it up down there. Yes, like very, very right. important. Yes. You know what? Balls are hairy. Yeah, yes. yes. they need to be clean. guys uh, are hairy. I feel like hairy. like all this extra hair. I don't feel like it's necessary. Like it holds odor and sweat and, and bacteria. And and clean that shit up. Yeah. I feel like if you expect your woman <laughs> to be clean, I don't know how you know people have their yeah, certain ways. Right. Some guys might like her forest, but if you want <laughs> to clean and shaved or waxed up or whatever, Wax, baby. like I would expect you to do the same. Shave your balls. <laughs> shave your balls. Like, <laughs> like honestly, shave your balls. And you ain't gotta be like bald, like waxed, like clean down there. Like I don't. I mean, guys are hairy. Guys have hair. Like that's cool. But if you expect me to be down there. Like, have some respect. Yeah, I'm gonna say, like, I'm gonna say, 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 i am the hair is usually coarse. Look at this hair. Right. right. We got so, coarse hair. I don't want with this in my face. Right. Right. I know. I got knots and shit. Like, no. <laughs> what? Is no. That, is that long? Right. Another, right. Thing. Yeah. Another thing that really bothers me, like, I don't want to see razor bumps either. Yeah. yeah. That really <laughs> bothers me. I don't but know. Like, now what is he supposed to do? Like, what if he has sensitive skin and he's so then maybe it. let's find an ointment or some kind of cream, <laughs> something that works right. for you. Shaving yeah. usually does that though. Yeah. You're usually gonna get razor bumps. I mean, yeah, no, no, no. I know that shit happens. I'm just saying, like, let's try to keep it to a minimum. <laughs> I'm trying to be good. He will. I don't know you don't want to see him, so keep your eyes closed. No, 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 at least the three of us. We can't speak for all women. So mm-hmm. women, if we are crazy and you like it bushy furry down there, like let, let us know. know. I let us know. know. I'm not judging you. Like I don't care if that's what you like. Like because there's some guys that do like hair down there. Like that's yeah, fine. Like, leave it alone. I don't know how true this is, but I've read it somewhere <laughs> that guys, if you shave, like you look bigger. I heard that too. You know, like because the hair is really? like yeah piled yeah, up. So it's an yeah. illusion, like. It is Come on movie. now, so shave. Exactly. Like, you, like, you, got, right, you got a whole bunch of forests down there, like it's covering like a nice little mouth, a nice little tree stump. <laughs> <laughs> <Nice little, like, laughs> <like, laughs> <like, laughs> okay, so that pretty much wraps up this episode of Candid Combos. 
Uh, guys, we just ask that you please, please, please stay tuned every Sunday at 6 p.m. for the new release of Candid Convos videos. Uh, and keep all of the feedback and support coming because we definitely, really, we truly appreciate yes, all yes, of you, yes, every last one yes. of you. It really, it honestly means a lot that you guys are taking out the time to leave comments and to DM, um, mm -hmm. just letting us know like your opinion, just taking the time to watch us. Yeah. Like, thank yeah. you so much. Truly appreciate it. Stay tuned. Thanks guys. See you later. Stay beautiful. Bye.